Ready? You ready when you are? Neutrons. We're trying to figure out how many neutrons does carbon have. 
Ooh. No. <laughs> I can't. Ask. What you think, Coach? Um, it's six. Yes. How did you find that? I subtract the um. I subtract the atomic. Oh, no more, no more. What do we subtract to find the? It's not up from? there. It's not up there right now. It's atomic weird. mass. I know, but it doesn't say it. Okay. Sean. Atomic mass minus atomic number. Very good. Good job. So how many neutrons does carbon have? Six. Very good. I, and I okay. learned I learned that from being in this class. What? All, right. all y'all learned that from being in this class. I'm proud of y'all. Y'all moving fast, so fast. Okay. What connects two elements together, Chrissy? What connects two elements together? A bond. A bond. What, what is a bond made of? Arsenic. How many? Two. Yeah. Two. Good. So, so what, what's that? What's that? Electron? Say electron? Electron. Okay. So oxygen. I'm moving too fast. I don't want to stick that here. Okay, we know that to connect atoms together, you need a bond with two electrons. So, okay, we know this. What's the molecular formula for water? My girl, H2O. It looks like this. Right? So if I have oxygen, it looks like this. And I've got two hydrogens. They're found on the periodic table. Hydrogen is in group one. Oxygen is in group 16. Connect them together. Two electrons makes one bond. Connect them together. Two electrons makes one bond. We follow? Yes. That's why water looks just like that. Got electrons at the top and electrons at the bottom. Good. Okay, now let's work on group numbers. How many groups are there on the periodic table? Say it out loud. 18. 18. 18. What does group, what does the group number tell you? What you think? Yes, how many valent electrons there are? How many what? How many valent electrons there are? Okay, what if I add? For, for this class, we're skipping all the elements in the red. Those are transition metals. We're skipping all those elements or those uh, atoms, okay? So when you skip those in the middle, starting at group one at the top, blue number at the top, you should see one through 18. That shows you where the group numbers are. Yes? Yeah, you don't have one? Group number 
tells you, group number tells you how many electrons are in. Aaliyah, so oxygen would you is know? in group six. Aaliyah knows. Is it six? Yes, it's six. Which is why oxygen looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's why it looks like that. Make sense? So water. Two hydrogens, one oxygen. Okay? Now. Um, okay, we got, I'm trying to figure out what else could I miss. You don't really need directionality for today. Excuse me, can I say something? What about when you said you went this way and went that way? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, you guys don't need directionality for this experiment. What you call it again? Directionality? Oh, my gosh. You guys don't need that for this experiment. So we'll recap on that on Thursday. Um, you kind of just need that. Okay, let's talk about let's talk about something new today. And I promise we're gonna get into this experiment. We do an experiment today? Yes. Yeah. 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 Ooh. You gonna blow some? Oh. <laughs> you gonna blow some? Kinda. Yeah. 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 Kind of, kind of, we gonna blow some here. Oh no! I'm okay, blowing, I'm blowing so. Blowing. Um. <laughs> Y'all so funny over here. Okay, we're talking about reactions today. One of our trends we learned about reactivity, or or rather something would react or not. We learned directionality with that, but you won't need it today. Oh, chemical, chemical reaction. Wait, wait, wait. Touch, touch. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. These are the signs where you know that there's been a reaction or if something changes, okay? Eyes. Ears. You buddy, move over here. Introduce the chairs over there for you to grab. Thank you. It's very hard for me to focus and think about science, chemistry, and there's a lot of sidebar conversations. And I know it's the boring stuff, but we gotta get to this. It's exciting to me. Mm. It's exciting to you? Always. These are the three signs that tell you whether or not a reaction has happened. If something changes color, changes smell, or it gives off some type of aroma, or it gives off heat, or something cold. That's how you know if a reaction happened today, or happened. So for today, oh, I'm sorry. When you have heat and cold, you get stuff like bubbles. Oh, okay. Eating cold right. makes bubbles. Like, like when you boil the water, that's that's the change with the heat. When you see bubbles, this water turning in, into a from a liquid to a gas. Yes, it's like it's water. evaporating. It's evaporating. It's in the process of evaporating. Girl, that's my son. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's called water vapor. All right. Okay, so for today, we're going to work with bubbles. That chemical reaction we're going to say is heat. We're just going to make it just that simple. Um, you got, somebody asked me this last week, and I'm so happy that y'all are already thinking of it. You got solids, you got liquids, and you got gas. The three states of matter. Very good. Three states of matter. Oh my gosh. I'm Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? What? I love being surrounded by geniuses. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So for today, that's the type of reaction that we're gonna have. Now check this out. Remember I told you everything on the periodic table or every every element on the periodic table makes up everything you see, you smell, you taste, you think. Today we're gonna learn about baking soda. And some of you have done this experiment. But I want you to understand how it can make. Uh, no, we're not going to go get up today, but I do have that experiment for you guys. Mm. Baking soda and vinegar gives you carbon dioxide. Remember we talked about carbon dioxide? When we breathe in oxygen, we breathe out what? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. And the plants take in that carbon dioxide. They go through this thing called photosynthesis. And then they give us the fruits and we eat them. It's a whole big cycle, right? Carbon dioxide is important in so many different ways. It's the only thing I use to clean my house. Yes. 
Yes, plants also give off oxygen. Very good. And we read in the oxygen. Room and cycle. Who y'all giving me? I gotta think of something other than candy, yes. How about only trees give us? Um, no, there are a bunch of different plants that give us oxygen too. But some also give us fruit, some also give us vegetables, yeah, they but give us but everything. You got, but you got seeds to plant the, the type of right. trees and plants to provide them. Precisely, you need seeds to plant them. Which you got uh, So, and the ocean has to be a lot more oxygen. Wow, that's a fact that I did not know. So apparently the ocean gives off more oxygen than the plastic. That's, that's very interesting. You always give me cool fun facts. Okay, so carbon dioxide. Baking soda, and I want to make sure I get my stuff right. Sodium bicarbonate, you don't have to remember that name. Looks like this. The molecular formula. Remember the molecular formula for water is H2O. It has how many hydrogens? Two. How many oxygen? Two. How many oxygen? One. One. So how many how many hydrogens does baking soda have? One. How many sodium elements does one. it have? One. What about carbon? One. And oxygen? One. Nope. How many hydrogens does baking soda have? How many oxygens are there in sodium? Three. 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 You understand? Yeah. Baking soda is made from sodium, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. You write it like this, and that bottom number tells you how many, just like when I wrote H2O, that number is at the bottom. Are there any questions so far? Yes. You still don't get it? It's okay. I just want you to follow along. I promise it'll all make sense once you see the reactions happen. Okay. Do you see what how you? many, how many, so, look at the periodic table. See, that's a lot of people who haven't uh, made it to the first couple weeks, you're kind of missing a lot of information. One second. And so what grade are you in? And what grade are you in, PJ? You're not in a grade. How old are you? How old, how old are you? Six. Six. And, and what grade are you in, Theo? I'm going to be in third grade. And all of the students that I just named, very young, y'all listening to me? They're very yes. young? Are you following along right here? Yes. How many sodium? One. How many hydrogen? One. How many carbon? One. How many oxygen? Three. See what I mean? It's not age, it's, it's consistency. You gotta come. And you're new, so you'll get it. You'll follow, I promise. Yes. Um, and last question. Are you a science teacher? And I promise. Ma'am? Are you a science teacher? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, science is what I do all day, every day. And the science is actually what you do all day, every day. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Yes. What do you really do? I mean, you're not a, you're not a, you're a scientist, and you work at Wayne State University to make actually make drugs for Big Pharma. Yeah, okay. Tell my whole mom. I'm just saying, so she's teaching because she wants to teach. I, because, because science was taught to me when I was young by my dad, and it's what sparked for me. And there are some students in here who may not ever. I hated history. I hated math. I hated reading. I hated all that stuff. But some of you might love those subjects. And that might be what sparks for you. But this is what sparks for me. So it's just I know that's right. Thank you. Making me feel very included. Can I move on to vinegar? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So vinegar is, looks like this. The molecular formula. How many carbons? Take one. a look. One. Take a look and read it before you say. How many carbons? Two. One. Thank you. Two. How many hydrogen? Four. 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 Thank you. How many oxygens? Two. 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 Hold on, hold on. Welcome to the class. Vinegar, I'm gonna do it again, because it might have just been too much on the board. Vinegar is acetic acid. Mm -hmm. And it looks like this. Look at what's in front of you. This is the molecular formula for acetic acid, vinegar. How many carbons do you see? Two. 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 How many hydrogens do Four. you see? Four. Four. How many oxygens do you see? Two. 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 One, two carbons. One, two, three, four hydrogens. One, two oxygens. Yes, Arsene. Does this the oxygen for like right next to each other? Why don't they have a number of the number that's a good question. It's because acetic acid, okay, so when you look at carbon, 
Tell me what group is, is carbon? That's a good question. <coughs> and how many electrons, valence electrons, does carbon have? Four. Four. And so carbon, when you draw bonds for it, it looks just like you got it in your hand. A tetrahedral structure, which I am obviously not going to draw. And so there's a carbon attached here, and then that has four bonds. One, two, three, four. Wait a minute, let me finish. So those hydrogens are attached to that carbon. This carbon is still the carbon that's in the middle. It's attached to... Shelly, stop making so much noise in there. You might try to listen. One, two, three, four. Got it, so there's a little Very good. It's attached to something different. So we write it. Oh my God, that was a good question. Did you hear a question? Oh my gosh, that was such a good question. Okay, boom, so we got the molecular formula for vinegar, we got the molecular formula for baking soda, which gives us carbon dioxide. So today we're gonna to make the gas form of carbon dioxide. Um, yes, please. Thank you. Oh, I, I, there is something I forgot on the recap. Somebody tell me proper protection equipment for a scientist. What's your name? Antoine. Antoine, it might take me a couple days, I'm not going to lie, but what do you think? A little like goggles. Goggles. Uh, Very good. Face protection. Wait a minute, just give me one. Goggles. And today I'm going to put on my prescription goggles. Can we also wear glasses? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are what my goggles look like. Because I cannot see. One second. Wait a minute. One second. One second. So I cannot see without my glasses. So instead of them giving me goggles, they, ooh, so much better. they give me prescription goggles or glasses and they cover them so that I'm protected. And I also have they protect your eyes. What else? Chris, yeah. I'm sorry, what's your question? Do I have more prescription? No, they make them specific to us. Sorry. Okay, Chris, what you think? What else? Gloves. Gloves. Very good. Theo? What else is proper protection you're coming for a scientist? <laughs> Lab coat. Lab coat. Boom. Check me out. Covered all the way to the bottom. What you think, Kennedy? Pants that cover all the way to the bottom. What you think, Sean? Shoes. Closed toe shoes. I think that yeah. just about covers it. Nice. Oh, mm, you don't really need a mask unless you work in like in a specific room, but yeah. you, know, you don't really need a mask. This is all you need. Something to cover your hair. No, no, um, no. Nope, you don't really need anything to cover your hair, but if you do have long hair, good question. You gotta pull it back to a ponytail, but since mine, I don't have to worry about my hair dripping or dropping into any vinegar, I'm, I'm cool. <laughs> right, Miss Long Hair Don't Care, excuse me. So today, we are working with Vinegar and baking soda to make what are we making? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Boom! I got my baby, my baking soda, baking soda, and I have my vinegar. What are, you, what are the three things you, three or four things you need to see that tells you whether you're having a chemical reaction? Arsa, right, so give me one. Heat or cold. Or cold. Uh, uh, Katie, one. Change of color. No. Smell. Very good. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. So today we are working with heat. And so in order to see a reaction, you need to see those bubbles. Now listen. Listen, like the. Okay, so boom. Yes, Theo, what's your question? Um, 
Or what? They're just regular bottles. That's all. Just regular sweet bottles. Vinegar is going to be in this one. We're going to put water in the other. So we'll know whether or not we're going to have a, a real chemical reaction. And 
vinegar is, I'm not going to put it in the tree. Okay, yeah, so vinegar. We take one proton. Bear with me, y'all. So they have one proton. And we exchange. So then it ends up looking like this.